yeah that was pretty cool that was a little scary you gotta be safe if you're gonna do that make sure you're reaching out to real people make sure you're going to public places Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl I'm on here and I'm back with another freaking video. So don't mind if I'm talking a little weird because something is something fishy is going on with my throat. And I don't know what's going on with my throat right now, but I'm feeling like congested. So just don't mind that if you if I you know, yeah. If you can read from the title below, we are gonna be talking about how to make new friends, meet new people, put yourself out there when you move to a new state okay this was major for me when i first moved to texas why because when i was in maryland let me tell let me give y'all a little backstory on this okay when i was in maryland right from middle school to high school i had a lot of friends i had like a boyfriend i had a lot of friends it was great i was always going out and then after high school i don't know what happened okay like it was just like i had a whole bunch of friends and i yeah to just me and i was just like i don't know what happened like i miss my friends like i miss having friends i miss i think because i got so so focused on you know being in a relationship and then you know how that goes like you know you're trying to be like living this adult lifestyle and you have your boyfriend and then you work and then i went to college so i was just like okay focus on work college boyfriend and then you just lose your circle like you lose people around you and that's just how it was i'm being transparent y'all that's how it was i didn't know a balance between boy and friends and I ended up losing both. <laughs> but it was a learning lesson. Now I know when I have a relationship and I have a genuine, loving, fun friends around me that like, I need to separate the two. Like I don't need to, you know, I need to have good balance. I need to spend time with my, my man, spend time with my friends, focus on my work and my, you know, my school and have everything within a good balance. So that is basically what you know my little story and what happened to me so of course when i you know was on this whole journey of starting a new lifestyle i was like hell yeah i'm gonna make friends and i'm gonna make sure i keep them friends too so when i moved to texas i didn't you know i didn't know anyone so my whole plan was to of course make friends from work because when you go when you have a job like i know people say i just go to work to work i don't go to make friends but if you think about it you're with the people at your job like 50 percent of your life i would even say 75 percent of your life because you go there for eight hours and then you're in traffic and then like you're you spend most of your days you spend most of your days at work if you have people at your workplace that you vibe with that you get along with that you can connect with why not recruit them as a associate at least an associate a friend someone you can just hang out with someone you can talk to why not all of my jobs i've ever had i've always made friends with my co-workers i've always made friends with my co-workers because we spend so much time together like we tell each other all of our business anyway so why not be friends you know once I got my first full-time job, because my second, my, my part-time job, which was my first job when I moved here, it was like, it was, I had friends there, but they were all like elderly people, because the job that I, the type of job I had. So it wasn't like I could call them and be like, hey girl, like let's go out, let's go to the club, because they were older people. But I still talked to them, they were like my aunts and uncles there. But then my first corporate job that I had, I made friends with a lot of the girls there. Of course, I had issues with one of the girls there. But I made a lot of friends with the girls there. We even started going to church together. We started hanging out together. And then um, one of the girls, her name is Bree. Bree, if you watch this, love you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, she became my sister, like my big sister. And then I started staying over her house. We would go to dinner. Um, she introduced me to her husband, which actually I ended up working with at my other job. It was so crazy how everything worked out. I just got so close to them. And um, so that was definitely one of the ways that I made friends was through my workplace. And then I, I met a few other girls 
And yeah, it was just, it was great. Another way that I made friends was, this is gonna be weird y'all, but it definitely helped me. I made friends when I first moved to Texas by hashtagging Dallas, Texas on Instagram, searching the hashtag and looking through girls' pages. Of course I would, you know, do my little stalking to see if they lived here, um, see what type of vibe they were, see what type of vibe they were on and then I would follow them and then I would DM them and be like, hey, I just moved here. Just wondering if you know any cool places to hang out at. Like, do you, where do you hang out at? Like, what do you, what do you do out here? All of them were pretty helpful. All of them were helpful and a few of them invited me out. And then I think with like my second week, like I was hanging out with these group of people and then we went to like a fashion show and then at the fashion show, I met other people and then I even met a guy that I eventually started hanging out with and it was just like crazy how everything worked within like my first two, three weeks of being here. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a little scary. You gotta be safe. If you're gonna do that, make sure you're reaching out to real people. Make sure you're going to public places. Don't be, cause I'm not gonna lie y'all. I met up with the girls that I had DM, like, well, one of them, um, it was at an apartment. I was like, oh shit, like, is it safe? So yeah, another thing is that there's this thing called Bumble BFF. It's, you know, it's Bumble, Bumble for dating, Bumble for finding friends. At one point I was looking on Bumble BFF, but then I was just like, I don't know if this is safe. And I just really, I don't know if I trusted it. So I would like search it. And then I was like, I think like messaging people on there, but I never met up with anyone on there. And one of my friends that said she did the same thing, when she was looking for friends, she actually became best friends with a girl, like a girl that she found on there, which is cool. But I just was like, ugh, I don't know about that. Like, people are crazy. People are crazy these days. So if you like, if you do meet somebody off of Bumble and the first time you meet up with them, if you can have somebody with you, that's cool. But I mean, I guess it's the same thing as meeting somebody off Instagram, and I did that. So. <laughs> Um, what is another way? Another way that I made friends when I moved here was, um, networking events. Go to events and talk to people. Y'all gotta understand, like, if you're just hiding away in your apartment, or if you do go out and you're just in the corner, why are you so entitled for people to come up to you and talk to you? Do not be entitled to think that all of the people that, all these people that you say you wanna have in your life, all these friends that you say you wanna have are gonna to come to you. That's not how it works. If you wanna meet people, that's a great thing. That's an amazing thing. If you want to have friends and you want to be in genuine uh, relationships and have those genuine relationships, but please don't be entitled to think that everyone's gonna to come to you because who are you? You have to put yourself out there. You have to talk to other people. You're going into a new state, nobody knows you. So why are people gonna go and talk to you? Now you may have some people that make up to you talk to you but for the most part people don't know who you are just like you don't know who people are but you're the one that wants the friend so you gotta figure out how can I make people my friend how can I just you know go up to people introduce myself tell them what I do ask them about themselves um and make people feel like you're genuinely into them and that's how you create genuine friendships and relationships always always be more interested in what the other person has going on, what the other person is doing. How can I be of service to the other person? And that's how you create genuine relationships. And when you do that, that is when you'll start bulking up your friendship list even more. And that's something I did. I went to this, uh, it was one of my friends that I met from Instagram. She was having, she was like in a, it was a, it was a showing of a house. They was having like a real estate party. It was just crazy. I never even thought about what I actually went to. But then they had some people, some stations that were like show, showcasing their businesses. And my friend, she has like a bath bomb business. So she was in like the bathroom with her bath bombs, like showcasing it. Like when they were looking at the bathroom, it was really cute actually. And so she was there and then I had um, my friend that I had met, her name is Tasha, my apartment locator. She was there too, cause she's a real estate agent. So after I was like with my friends I met from Instagram upstairs in the bathroom looking at her, you know, her business and stuff. Then I just like was walking around the house and I was I was talking to people and I met my friend Natasha that's the apartment locator. And me and her got like that. And that's when 
we started working out together she introduced me to her trainer like it like everything just came together like cause, because i set my intentions on meeting people and doing things like that that is literally what like attracted to me so okay boom after i made the friends from instagram and i started hanging out with them they started like they were like out there like they always had the plans they still have pl they still like if i reach out to any of them right now like they would have plans for tonight like and i'll be like oh, okay boom like can i go can i come and then i would just go and then it would be like that but the type of vibe that i'm on right now i'm not focused focused on going out i'm just like focused on the, like i'm just focused on other things that i understand like still have your fun but y'all i'm about to move it's about to be i'm about to be living okay i'm living right now but i'm about to be having fun fun like trust me it's about to it's about to be that just stay tuned stay tuned y'all gonna see what's about to happen in this next move of mine but yeah so the, that was my stomach um the girls that i met like when i was like on instagram and stuff like that like i started hanging out with them it's like when you meet people when you make friends, you probably need to make at least one or two friends. These friends have friends, those friends have friends, and you just meet all of them, and they all can become your friend. And don't even necessarily have to be your friend. It could just be people that you, like, I started to categorize my friends. I would have my friends that I could just come over their house and come over my house. We could chill, watch TV and movies and eat snacks. I had my friends that I could uh, go on nature walks with and do adventurous stuff with. And I had my party and my club friends. Like, I had different groups of friends for different types of things. I had my church friends, the girls that I would just be like, um, are we going to church this weekend? we would go to church together i have my separate types of friends and they don't have to be they don't all have to be like bestie bestie like you don't have to be like oh yeah that's my best friend i talk everything like it don't always have to be like that you don't have to even talk to them every single day but i think that if you have a group of people in the uh, place that you're at that's great and then of course if you have still your friends from back home that you talk to and then invite them out and then um um, they can come and see you and stuff like it's great the point the point of it is is just having that community of people that you can go to that you can have that you can trust that you can have fun with as I'm in my season of uh, transition sometimes I do find that it is a little lonely it's a little lonely I'll be honest but when I realize the focus that I have right now is only for a season a season when I first lived here, when I first moved here, and even a few months ago, like, I was always surrounded by people. I was always going out every week and every single day. Like, it was like that for me. It's just like, it's not always going to be where you're having all these people around you. And it's not going to always be where you're just alone by yourself. You got to appreciate the season for what it is and what it's bringing to you. So right now, in this season of aloneness, I don't know if that's a word. I'm focusing on how can I better myself, as always. I'm always focusing on that. But I'm starting to get more into my meditations, and I started doing yoga. I started working out. I started, you know, exploring Dallas by myself, which I haven't really done. And now that I'm leaving, I'm like, okay, like, let's try, you know, you know, like, let's try different things. Let's do different things. I went to breakfast. I took myself out to breakfast one morning, and I sat down, and I was just having so much fun by myself. You got to appreciate your individuality for what it is. Like, it's okay. It's great to have a lot of people in your life, people that you can reach out to. But when you're going through those moments, Moments when you're by yourself you gotta appreciate that too because it all comes together at some point at some point you're gonna need to know those skills of communication and uh personality and personable uh, skills to be around a lot of people and then you're gonna need to know your skills of like how to be alone how to be by yourself how to have fun with yourself how to take care of yourself when no one else can it's great to have a lot of friends but i also think it's great to know how to be by yourself and to have a perfect balance of everything know that that doing everything in moderation is always the answer like everything and with balance and moderation is always great my friend tiara from work a job that i had uh work here before she we would always have these these good talks and she that's one of the things that i she told me and i have kept, kept that with me for so long is to always do things in moderation don't ever do don't ever do too much of one thing like try different things and, and learn different things and do so all of it in moderation because that's just the the adventure of life just trying out things and doing different things so yes making friends is a great thing and you can try different things even some of the things that i didn't say maybe you can try um but 
yes, always remember that it's okay. It's okay to spend time by, spend time by yourself and be by yourself sometimes. Just always be open-minded and always try to put yourself out there to talk to people first. I know that's something that I it's hard for me to do. But yeah, it'll always work out for you if you set your intentions on that. So I really hope this video helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment something that you took from this video. And I will see y'all. Oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Money Collins. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.